about Congress tonight. Tonight, California mourning the death of Dianne Feinstein, a senator who broke several glass ceilings. Citrus TV's Luke Radel joins us now with the details. Luke, how is the Golden State handling this loss? Today, many in California are sad to hear the news tonight that the oldest sitting senator has died at the age of 90. California's Dianne Feinstein is being remembered tonight as a trailblazer. In 1978, she became the first woman mayor of San Francisco after a horrific double assassination in City Hall. She then served in the U.S. Senate for more than 30 years. She was a champion for civil rights and gun control, who also worked on defense policy during the War on Terror. In 2014, as chairwoman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, she oversaw a shocking report with details of the CIA's practices for detaining su terror suspects at secret prisons and torturing them. In 2014, Dianne Feinstein addressed her colleagues on the Senate floor. She said, my words give me no pleasure, but such pressure, fear, and expectation of further terrorist plots do not justify, temper, or excuse improper actions being taken by individuals or organizations in the name of national security. In her final years, concerns about her health began wide speculation about her eventual retirement. Reports about her mental decline mounted, as former aides recounted Feinstein having memory lapses. Democrats expressed concern about someone in that condition serving on several high-profile and influential Senate committees. Finally, in the past few months, Feinstein announced that she'd retire after her sixth term in the Senate in 2025. Several California Democrats are vying to replace her in the next election, but for now, the process to fill her seat goes to D Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom. It is unclear at this hour who he will select to replace her, while her colleagues in the Senate and Washington mourn her loss. Guy 